everyone. Morning. It's Sharon here from New Dimensions Fitness, ready with a live workout for you this morning. Good morning if you're just logging on. I hope you got your trainers on. I've got a live workout for you this morning. It's just 15 minutes in duration. So perfect just to get you up and moving and get the blood flowing before the official start of work, I guess. So without further ado, you're coming up onto your feet. Let's take the feet nice and wide and begin by breathing in, bringing both arms up over the head. Nice big breath in and then exhale, come back down. Inhale, lift and then exhale. You've got two more like this, so really open through the lungs. Last one. Okay, bring the hands onto the thigh and gently lean from side to side with a little twist through the chest. It's not going to be too crazy this warm up, but we are going to work into the legs and the heart in just a moment. All it requires is that you're able to count to six. So no equipment necessary, you just need some room. Eight more, seven, six, five. Good, from there, can you start to bring your feet in, march on the spot, or bring this to a jog? So if you don't like the impact of the jog, feel free just to march it and work on pulling your knees up. Otherwise, we're here jogging on the spot. 10 seconds left, we'll just change to a hop. Four, three, two, one. You're gonna hop on your right leg, hop on the left leg. Now on these hops, please try and land the heel. Let me just show you from the side. Just wait to try and get the heel down. <clears throat> and if it is too much impact still, you can stay with the march. We'll keep the hop and we'll bring arms over the head this time and then back down again. Don't worry if you're not in time with me or your coordination is not the same as mine. It doesn't matter. We're just warming up. Eight more. Six, four, three, two, one. Okay, landing the feet back again. I want you to sink deeper into it this time. So you're back to your white squat. Can you start to touch down? So we've got more rotation, more twists. Eight more. Six, four, three, two, one. Step up. Then I want you to just bring your left leg in now. So you're kind of tapping your foot to the right side. And now start to pull the knee up. And you should be feeling the heart rate coming up now. Maybe that you've got a light sweat. Okay, both arms reach up like this and you're pulling in. So as your knee lifts, your arms pull in. Eight, seven, last four, three, two, change side. So if you're tapping first of all, we'll keep it low. And then start to pull the knee up. Next move, both arms come up, pull, pull. Eight more, six, four, three, two, one. Okay, we'll bounce on the right leg, just open the hip to the left, change side. So big hip circles, just working from one leg to the other. And your workout today is gonna be, it's like an accumulator, sorry, it's like an ascend and a descender. So the first move is called zombie. It's a bit like a burpee, but I wasn't thinking there's, that I could put that in. It's a bit like a zombie, zombie sorry, a burpee, but reverse. So you need some space behind you. You're basically laying down on the floor and then coming back up again. So we've got five of those, followed by one press up. Press up can either be on your knees or it can be here on your toes. So five zombies, one press up, then we do four zombies, two press ups, then three, three. So it's always gonna add up to six. So let's get going. You work at your pace. I'm gonna take it steady. So zombie, five times, lay down, come back up. There doesn't have to be any impact in this whatsoever. You'll find just from getting down onto the floor and back up, 
works the entire body and it's functional. So this is my fifth. And then I'm going for one press up. Hands are going to be wide, engage the core muscles. Okay, now this time four, four zombies. So literally just these two moves. Last one for me. Don't worry if you're not at the same pace. Remember it's your workout, you're working at your pace. I'm going for two press-ups. So now we're even, we're three and three. Lift. Oh blimey, it's warm in here now. Hope you're getting the kids doing this as well. They're much quicker at it though. That's the thing. Okay, three press-ups. I'm going to show you the option if you want knees down. Okay, knees are coming down. You got two. And if you forget, remember it's always going to add up to six. So I've got two, three, four, six. Okay, one, five. One's on me. Five press ups. Knees or toes. Okay, take a small rest. Take on water. I'm going to give you 20 seconds rest. If you're still going, time the 20 seconds rest yourself. <laughs> Let's see what the comments are. Dan Hayes, I can't even put my socks on. All the more reason that you need to do this. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. So I'll be with you every Friday morning at 8.45. Please log it in your diary. Okay, we're going again. So we're starting from the bottom. So we're starting with one zombie and then five press-ups. Go. So it's the same but reverse order. Downside is the zombies are going to get ranked up. Okay, two zombies for me. And your only need to start is good on that. Don't worry if you can't lift and lower as I do, you need to turn to the side. It really doesn't matter. Halfway mark three and three. Yeah, so if you need to turn like this to get up, it doesn't matter. Just as long as you're keeping yourself moving. Okay. Oh, I think I did one too many there. <laughs> That's the thing, to stay concentrated. Four for me. Now, if you do want a little bit more intensity, on the upward part, feel free to add a jump. Two press-ups. If you're still working, continue to. I have got, I'm on the last one, so it's five. Just keep moving everyone. Remember you can always do this with the kids in the garden, you'll, you could make it fun. I always select moves that are quite easy to remember so that you can just have a sneak peek of this and then take it away with you. And you could literally 
literally apply that to any format. So it could be any two exercises, but one will descend and the other one ascends, and then you have a short break and flip them around. So to finish with, let's do some core. Let's do plank, aiming for a minute. So, I just wanna run through the technique of plank. So let's get the timer on. Now we're coming down onto the elbows on the forearms. The easiest way to get into position is to completely lay down on your tummy. We wanna tuck the pelvis under, lift the hips and hold. Now just make sure that your lower back isn't dipping like this. And this is one of, the, um, one of the techniques that I see when people say that plank hurts their back. So try and pull the pubic bone underneath and engage through the core, so meaning you're lifting through your core muscles. Now if you want more intensity on this, just curl the toes under, lift your knees. But again, be aware of your alignment, because sometimes I see plank like this, so we want to be making sure that the elbow's under the shoulder and we've got good head carriage. Try not to be here. So you're just looking slightly forwards. You've got that upward pull through the center of the body. Almost at a minute, you've got 15 seconds to go. Just remember to keep the abdominals tight as you breathe. You can always take your feet wide if you want more stability. Five, four, three, two, one. Good work. Okay, we'll come into a, a stretch from the hip flexor. So you're taking one leg forward and just tucking the pelvis under and sinking through. So quite a mini workout there that does get your heart rate up and also works the core a little bit as well. Let's change leg. So thank you for joining me. I know sometimes being stuck at home in isolation isn't the best way to get some exercise or get the motivation to exercise. So it's nice to share some activity if you can, if you feel the benefit of this. Like I say, it's just 15 minutes and it can really start your day well or help you start your day well. Okay, rising up, let's go quad stretch. So heel to bottom. Feel free to hold on to something if you wobbly. Same time next week, I hope. 8.45, let's change. Bringing the heel to the bottom. Okay, and the final stretch would be just to take your feet wide, I'll show you from the side. Try and tip forward and bring one hand or arm down to the floor, the other in the lower back and you're just twisting. So you're getting a stretch in the waist, spine, but also here, hamstrings as well. Three, two, one, change side, hand down, twist, looking to the side. Come back to centre and roll up. Thank you for having me, guys. Um, if you want uh, more exercise, tune in same time next week, 8.45. Take care of yourselves. Bye-bye. Have a lovely day.